What's up guys? It's your girl River and I'm back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is River. It's very nice to meet you. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And as I always say, make sure you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. It does not matter how you feel about this video. We all want to talk about it. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. We're going to go ahead and get right into the video. Um, when I saw this video, I was very intrigued because this is one of the biggest things that ruin relationships. Um, and I can't play the audio for the video just because it's like a song and I don't want like, you know, any copyright or anything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and press play so that I can read this to you guys and then we're going to talk about it. So it says, um, her face, this is her face when she rings up a guy, I'm sorry, when she rings up a couple at her job so she's obviously like a cashier and the girlfriend is mean mugging her just because she's doing her job right so this is her face like okay so in her her so she's a cashier you know a, a woman and a man come to to the store you know and she maybe greets the both of them and it's like hello hi how are you guys doing hope you're having a good day you know uh, i feel like a lot more times than not guys are very jovial Right when they're in like stores or something like that, so they might like make a joke to the cashier, like might say something, and maybe I don't know, maybe she's like, you know, talking to him and like he says a joke or something, and she's like, ha ha ha, yeah. And so she's just doing her job, right? She's just being a nice person, a kind person. She's not um, overstepping any boundaries. She's just doing her job at work. Now she has a girlfriend, okay, who's looking at her crazy, like ready to square up in the parking lot. Because, oh, why are you talking to my man? Why are you looking at, at my man? One of the biggest issues in relationships is insecurities, okay, from the woman's standpoint. A lot of problems stem from that. Insecure, when a woman is insecure, she start arguing with you, uh, you know, where you going, who you with, why are you looking like that? She try to go through your phone, um, you know, she, she gets more irritable if you're outside, you know. I, I I hate this nature. Like a woman and a man are walking and you're walking, minding your own business. And she's looking at you to see if you're looking at him. She's looking at him to see if he's looking at you. She grabbing him tight, you know, holding on to him. And it just shows like, baby girl, it's just showing the world your insecurities. Like it, it on display. It's showing the issues that you have in your relationship. It's showing that you don't feel like you're enough. Okay, and let me tell you why that's such a big issue within a relationship, because he can feel that. So the minute that you're mean mugging this girl, it's making it look like this girl does have something over you. Okay, the minute that you are questioning him about some girl on Instagram, it makes it look like this girl on Instagram is better than you or is better looking than you. It's giving your power away. That's just being real. And to take it even another step, okay, a lot of insecurities in relationships are caused by your, the woman, her own laziness. I'm not talking about, like, if you have a child, right, and, like, you you just had a baby and, like, maybe you're not feeling like yourself. And, you know, I feel like that's 100% normal because your whole entire body changes. Like, your mentality changes, your body changes, like, and sometimes it changes to an extent that might be irreversible after you have a child. Like, that's a completely different different aspect you know insecurities are are different at that space and in, in time i'm also not talking about if you have like a situation that occurs and maybe you're on medication and you have to be and it changes your whole appearance and maybe you're a little bit more insecure because that's not the person that you're used to being and that's not who you naturally are understand that as well that's a different aspect i'm just talking about you just in this relationship with this man ain't nothing going on you're choosing to make certain choices food wise you're choosing not to be in the gym you're choosing not to present your best self you're choosing to throw anything on when you guys go out the store knowing that you're going to the mall knowing that you're going whatever place and people are there's going to be people who are better dressed or better fitted be, better suited in those situations and you mad at him for no reason at all you mad at him because the story doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop with her mean mugging the cashier. Okay, it goes all the way till she get home or get in a car and she's talking to him like, why you was laughing with her? Why you was talking to her? Why you was doing this? Why you was doing that? You didn't have to do all of that. Because of your own insecurities. It's not healthy. 
A woman that's secure don't care about nothing. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. A woman that is secure in herself doesn't care about nothing. She not looking at, you looking at somebody on Instagram, she walk past, oh, who's that? Oh, I like that bathing suit. Let me see where she got that from. She not thinking about that because she knows that you good. Like, she's good. She understands the nature of a man that, yeah, he might be looking, but that doesn't mean anything. It's not going further than the scroll and the, and the double tap. What what can you do? Okay. You at the, at the cashier, what is he going to do while y'all are in front of the cashier? Is he going to get her number while you're standing right there? No, he's not. Is he going home with her? No, he's not. Does he know her name? No, he does not. And and this is a part of like the toxic traits in relationships that I'm hoping that we can like work to work through. Like it's not normal. It's not normal to have this kind of ownership in a relationship with a man. Let him do that to you. Let him own you up. Right? Like let him establish like, oh, this is my girl, this is my wife. Instead of overexerting yourself because of your insecurities. It's not healthy. It's best to be your best best self, you know? If you feel into insecure about something or if you're in a situation like this, you need to check yourself first. Wait, why do I feel like that? What about this person made me feel this way? Is it because, you know, I don't feel like he looks at me like that? Let me track that and go a little bit further and see why that is and why this is occurring and why this is happening. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I genuinely want to know. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you.